guys and it's mainly about this cut crease look I have going on it's kind of a glittery cut crease but I wanted to do this video because I have hooded eyes so it's kind of really difficult for me to do a cut crease look and I know probably tons of you out there have hooded eyes and you feel like you can't do any dramatic pretty looks because it just won't show up on you um, so this is for you guys and I'm just gonna teach you how you can make it show up and make it look like you have a fake cut crease and if you don't have um, hooded eyes you could always just do this in your regular crease and you should be good to go but yeah it's a full face makeup look so if you want to see how to get this makeup look then go ahead and keep watching okay guys we're gonna go ahead and start off by priming the face I'm gonna be using my Smashbox primer oil and I'm gonna place this around the perimeter of my face then I'm gonna go ahead and take my Makeup Forever Smoothing Primer and place this in my T-zone. For foundation today, I'm gonna be using my CoverGirl Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 Foundation. For concealer, I'm going to be using my Master Conceal from Maybelline, and I'm going to use this under my eyes and also to highlight my face. my face using my translucent powder from Laura Mercier and I'm going to focus the powder mainly in my pores and then I only use a little bit under my eyes because if not it does look really dry and get kind of creasy. Um, if you want a full review over this powder please let me know and I could definitely do that for you guys but I'm also going to bake my nose and also a little bit on my forehead because that's where I get oily as well. Now I'm going to go ahead and start contouring using my Smashbox contour stick. And then I'm going to be blending that in with my e.l.f. stippling brush. Then taking my Tarte setting powder, I'm going to set the rest of my face. Now I'm just going to wipe away any of that excess powder we used to bake. Now we're going to go ahead and start on the eyes. I'm priming using my Soft Ochre Paint Pot from MAC. I'm going to go ahead and set that in place using a skin tone shade. Now to go ahead and map out your cut crease, you're going to want to take a lighter shade and look straight into the mirror and make sure you're getting everything above so where you could see it in the mirror. So not definitely in your crease, a little bit above it or wherever you're going to see it when you have your eyes open basically. And this is why I like to map it out with a um, kind of lighter color. Then you're going to take your transition shade. I'm using this one from the Kat Von D palette. And I'm just going to place this above it and also on top of that line. Then taking a deeper reddish brown, I'm going to go ahead and place this right on top of that line. So we can go ahead and start adding definition into the cut crease. And then I'm just going to take my fluffy brush and blend everything together. Now I'm going to go ahead and take a pencil brush and that deep brown shade and I'm going to start really cutting the crease with this. So you're going to place this right where you kind of mapped it out. And if it looks messy at first, it's okay because we're going to be cleaning it up later anyways. I'm going to go ahead and take some concealer on a flat brush and this is when you're going to clean everything up. So you want to go all the way up to that cut crease, even if it's in your real crease, you're going to want to make sure you put the concealer or foundation or whatever you're using right there so it looks like you don't actually have a crease there and so it looks more realistic that you have a crease somewhere else if you know what I'm saying. 
Now I'm going to take my aqua liner from Makeup Forever and use this as my lid shade. You can use any color of your choice, even a different eyeshadow, a cream eyeshadow, whatever you think, some glitter maybe. And you want to make sure you get all the way up to that cut crease, even if you're going into your crease, just to make it look more um, put together basically. Now I'm going to go ahead and take a black and brown and mix them together on an angled brush and start really, really defining that cut crease. Then taking this um, eyeshadow from ColourPop, it's called Slay. It's a really light green shade, but it has a lot of glitter in it. So I'm adding that on top because I felt like the liner looked kind of weird by itself because it dried kind of funky. But yeah, you can use any color of your choice on the lid if you want. Now I'm taking that red and also that orange shade and I'm just going to go ahead and blend out that black because it is kind of blotchy and I just want to smooth everything out and make sure it's blended. Then you're just going to want to take your fluffy brush and blend everything above the crease just to make sure everything is blending nicely but you don't want to touch your lid. Now I'm just going back in with that angled brush and defining the cut crease even more since we did just blend it out. Then taking that ColourPop eyeshadow once again, I'm just touching that up and cleaning it up. Now for liner, I'm using my Kat Von D Trooper liner and doing a wing liner. You could skip this part if you don't want a wing, but I feel like it looked really cool with this look. Now for the lower lash line, I'm taking that same transition shade we used at the top and I'm just placing that on the lower lash line. I use the Kat Von D palette, but you can use any of your choice from any palette that you like. Now taking that dark red shade once again, I'm going to go ahead and place that on the lower lashes as well. Then to really deepen up that lower lash line, I'm taking a black and basically um, putting it into my outer corner of my lower lash line just to make sure it's deep and kind of matches the top a little bit. Now for liner, I'm using Damsel from Stila. It's just a dark brown shade. You can use black if you want. I just couldn't find my black. So I'm tight lining with this, and I'm also going to place this in my waterline. After that, I'm going to start with lashes. So I'm curling them using my Tarte Lash Curler. Then I'm going to go ahead and prime them using my Tarte Primer. It's called Opening Act. Then for mascara, I'm using my Lash Domination from Bare Minerals. And what I've been loving lately are these faux kind of lash extensions, they're like lash fibers. So you want to put these on the tips of your lashes and then go back over it with your mascara. And make sure you don't get these in your eyes because it hurts like hell. And then I'm just going to wipe away any of the like lash fibers that fell on my face because they do fall onto your face. And then adding some mascara on the lower lashes as well. And then for the last step, I'm taking um, Makeup Geek Shimma Shimma and placing that in the inner corner. And then this is your finished eyes. And like I said, you could use any colors, but just use the same kind of technique and you'll be fine. Now I'm going to go ahead and bronze up the face using my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. And I really needed bronzer. I was looking pasty. Then to contour the face, I'm using my Anastasia Contour Kit and just mixing some brown shades and going to hollow out the cheekbones. I also like to run some of this down the sides of my nose, not necessarily contour, but just kind of warm it up just to even it out with the face. 
Then taking Warm Soul for MAC, I just wanted a neutral blush. I'm gonna go ahead and pop that on my cheeks. For highlight, I use Champagne Pop. Now for lips, I'm going to start off by aligning them with Rock and Rose Jordana Lip Liner. I wanted to stick with some nudes. For lips, I'm using Sandstorm from NYX. It's a liquid suede, a liquid lipstick. Then I felt like it needed some shine, so I'm taking Bite Beauty Rambutan Lip Gloss and just popping that on top, and it kind of nudes it out a little bit as well. And then you're finished. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And thank you so much for watching, guys. Love you. Till next time, guys. Bye.